Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do the initial setup of your SneeJet Infinity. Keep in mind that upon powering on your printer for the first time, the beacon light will flash red and the printer will give you a warning tone. This is just telling you that you have not set your print cartridge or settings yet. Simply press the print on button to stop this tone. Step one, open your Wi-Fi connection window at the bottom of your screen and select the printer there. Once you do this, you'll simply use the passcode one through nine to directly connect to your printer's Wi-Fi. Step two, in the address bar, enter the IP address 192.168.5.1. You'll be brought to this screen. You'll use the password 1 through 6 to open HX Manager. From the monitoring screen, select the Settings tab. Under Settings, you'll see the Wi-Fi section. You'll need to go ahead and in the drop-down menu, select the Wi-Fi network you wish to connect to. Enter your Wi-Fi password now. Once you've completed this, the printer will assign itself a new IP address. This is the IP address you'll use from this point on to access HX Manager. Now that you've connected your printer to the Wi-Fi network, you can go ahead and reconnect your computer. Once you've done this, you'll need to use the new IP address to access HX Manager. Now we'll go ahead and set up the cartridge parameters. First thing you'll do is select Edit from the cartridge menu, and select from the drop-down menu the cartridge you're going to use. Look on the side of your cartridge at the label to make sure that the numbers match what you see there. Once you're done, go ahead and hit Submit. At this point, you're ready to start using your printer. While we're here, we'll go ahead and talk about some of the other settings inside this page. You'll see from here that we have a date and time setting, and that's just setting the date and time on your printer. I'm gonna go ahead and set mine to the accurate time today. In the second row, you'll see the online data section. This is for users that intend to send and receive information via an RS-232 connection. If you did not request this feature at purchase, then you'll need to reach out to technical support for assistance. Thank you for watching our video on the initial setup of your Snapchat Infinity.